hi everybody so today i've got a vlog for you i filmed it in quite a different format um so i hope you appreciate and like this style of vlog so yesterday was saturday and i decided i just woke up and thought i really want to vlog today uh, whatever it is that i get up to we're in lockdown 3.0 now so i thought be something to look back on hopefully it's the last lockdown now that we'll be put in until february march time when we come out so i decided to pick up my camera and show you me journaling and i tend to do this usually at night but i actually forgot friday night to do it because i had a girls night quiz which i had a couple of drinks had a good time and yeah it just i just completely forgot to do it so i started my day with my wellness journal I open my journal up and I fill in the dates, my intentions for that day. I spoke about it in my, I don't know if it was my 2020 faves or something like a video like that. I spoke about it. So I started my day with doing my wellness journal. After that, me and Lewis decided that we should probably go out and get some fresh air. We've both got some new travel coffee mugs. So we thought, let's put them to the test. So we got up, we went out and we went for a walk around the village and we yeah we also bought a croissant from Lidl so we went to Lidl uh, the night before picked up some croissants uh, had our coffee and breakfast on the on the go Saturday night and I like the way you move with my croissants and yeah it was just nice to get out it was quite foggy got some fresh air um and enjoyed our uh, morning start our morning that way then the next thing that i did is i got back we had loads of bananas that i wanted to use up so i thought let's make a banana bread we are back in lockdown so that is like the ultimate lockdown bake is to make a banana bread so i made my banana bread mixed up all the mixture thrown in some chocolate chunks for some good measure and then thrown it in the oven and then this is how it came out looking i have literally just eaten some myself with a cup of tea whilst i'm filming this and it's honestly so much better the next day um so yeah i had some banana bread and then i just chilled for the rest of the day watched some real housewives and then I thought, you know what? I've got a bottle of Prosecco that is open. So I'm going to make myself something, a drink of some sort. And I thought, you know what? I think I can make a gin fizz. So I went to the kitchen. I cracked open the alcohol and I created a gin fizz. So let's show that footage. So it's a Saturday night and I've decided I'm going to try and attempt to make myself a gin fizz. So last night was Friday and I had a girls night on Zoom and it was my first lockdown quiz. I know, how, am I, how I got to the third lockdown and I've only just done my first quiz, I don't know. But I had a couple of Aperol spritz and because of that, I've got a bottle of Prosecco that's open. I thought, what can I have, what drink can I have that has a bit of Prosecco in without having the Aperols because I had that yesterday and I wanted to try something a bit different. So I thought, I'm gonna make myself a gin fizz because Aperol spritz and gin fizzes are what really remind me of being on holiday. And that's definitely like, that's the mood that we all wanna be in. We all wanna be on holiday, away from everything. So I thought, let's make a gin fizz together. Um, this is obviously not like the official recipe or how you probably like properly make it. I've just got a couple of things lying around that resemble a gym fizz and throwing them together. So I'm gonna pan you down and show you what it is that I'm doing. So I've got my glass that I've put some ice in. I've got my Gordon Sicilian lemon gin. I've got my Prosecco that's open. It also says tonic water. I'm gonna put some um, slices of lemon in that as well. So I'm gonna start off with some slices of lemon. I'm going to do like two slices, one and two, and then put my gin in, just going to eyeball it about that much, and then I'm going to add my Prosecco. And then 
then I'm gonna top the rest up with some tonic water. I'm gonna top that up with some tonic water. So I'm gonna do about half of a small can and do the rest for another one. I'm just gonna get my Lello, Lello, am I five years old? My yellow straw and then we'll do a taste test. My yellow straw, give it a little swirl and then give it a try. Mmm, yum. The only gross thing is, is that I made some banana loaf earlier, which will be in this vlog. And I thought, oh, I'll just use the same knife as what I cut the banana loaf with. So I have got bits of chocolate floating in my gym fizz, but I mean, it's not the end of the world, is it really? So there we go. I'm quite impressed with that, it tastes nice. Yum. And it's not too strong either. Like you get the lemon from the gin and the actual slices of lemon. And that's like bitterness, but it's really quite nice. So whilst I'm here, I may as well have a catch up with you um, about my day um, and what the plans are for the rest of the evening. So I went for a walk this morning, which you would have seen. Um, and then I've made my banana loaf, which is to the side of me, really good. The only thing is, because I put dairy, chunks of dairy milk in, I don't know whether it's like burnt it a bit or whether the chunks were too big. But other than that, the actual banana loaf is really good. And then the plans for tonight are to make homemade burgers. And we're going to make um, like the smashed patties. So the thin the smashed patties, or actually making the, like, the burger patties as well. Um... And then we've got some gherkins. I absolutely love gherkins. So we can put some gherkins in there. Um, we've got sweet potato fries. We've got coleslaw. We've got corn on the cob. Um, brioche buns. The work. So we're having like a chilled Saturday night in. We've got my gin fizz. We're going to have some burgers. Um, and have some banana loaf. And just have a good time. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the evening. Um, I'm now going to sit down. Enjoy the rest of my gym phrase whilst putting together another lockdown quiz. So obviously, because I said I watched, um, I did my first lockdown quiz uh, yesterday, so Friday. And me and the girls were honestly on Zoom for like four hours. And it was just the most amount of fun. I felt like I was actually going on like a girls night. Not a girls night out, but like having like a girls night. Yeah. So once we did that, we realised that we did, so there was three of us, we did three topics, 10 questions each. But what we realised is that that actually like is a really short quiz. So for next Friday, we're going to do another quiz and do 30 questions each. So we've now got to think of new topics, create a new quiz. Um, put that together and it, even though it's really sad because it's literally like basically a week away I had so much fun with the first one like the first time around it was so fun and yeah it was just good to have a girls night and to just have something fun to look forward to I done my hair and makeup I sat on my apparels and we we're doing our quizzes and it was honestly just so much fun so yeah my plan for the rest of the evening is enjoy that gin fizz and definitely have another one um create some more lockdown quizzes and yeah oh and yesterday i did my because i was chilling getting ready for the girls quiz i chillaxed my nails and i, I told you i was going to show you guys when i chillaxed my nails with one of my new colors that i got if you haven't seen my amazon haul go and watch that what you're doing um well i chillaxed my nails and this is the one of the new colors in the shade forest green so i'll show you these i absolutely love this color um i've realized actually i say absolutely love about everything as i'm editing like i absolutely love this i absolutely love that and i'm like it's actually really annoying like can you just think of something else to say than absolutely love but i really like this color it is so when you're not in the like this is 
got a ring light on. So I'll show you the difference without the ring light. Showing myself here, that's the difference that a ring light makes. The colour here is like, you can see pretty much what it actually looks like. So you've got this colour, which is like the dark green. Um, it kind of looks black. And then as you look closer, you can see that actually is green. Put the light back on and you can see that it's a brighter green. It does actually have glitter, um, like a shimmer to it, a green glitter. Um, but you can't really tell it because of the ring lights are just so bright. But you can see that it's a bit more green. Um, I had my toes as well, like had a proper girly pamper, a chill day, um, did my nails and had the quiz and it was honestly just the best way to spend a Friday. I wish I kind of caught some moments of me doing the quiz because I would have loved to have like, rewatched that back. But I did have quite a few, well three Aperols, but if for someone that doesn't really drink, that's quite a lot. So after doing my quiz, it was like maybe 11ish. I come back downstairs and I was like, wait off my drinks, scoffed some chocolate on the quiz. I was coming down and Lewis was like, you're pissed. I can tell you're pissed. I'm like, what? You know when you really try and hold it together and you think, they're not gonna know that I'm feeling a little bit like a squiffy. They've, I feel like I'm holding it together quite well. 100% new. He was like, yeah, I can tell you that you're drunk from the way that you are. Like you, you're really sloppy. Like you kissing me really sloppy. And I was like, I'm offended. I thought I was holding it together really well but totally needed, really enjoyed my girls' night. So yeah, I'm gonna go off with my gym fizz, enjoy my evening, I'll bring you along um, and see what else we get up to for tonight. So I have my gym fizz, it was really good, I really enjoyed it, I had another one later on as well. But I sat down, carried on chilling, watching Real's Housewives, and then it got to dinner time. And we thought, let's not have takeaways every weekend because that was becoming a bit too much of a regular thing. Every weekend we would have something like a takeaway of some sort. So we decided to make some homemade burgers. And when well, I say we, um, Lewis made the burgers and they were amazing like so good so so good i um put a picture of my story on my insta story of the burgers look like and it, i'll probably use it in my thumbnail because it honestly was so good and so many people have messaged me saying that looks amazing what did you put in it um it makes me one of five guys and um obviously in this clip you'll see what it is that i'm putting in so here we've got just the mixture divided up into balls and then they were halved again so we had smashed burger patties grams of mince um i chopped up some onion there's some gr um some garlic um lazy garlic went in salt pepper that kind of thing um and an egg as well mix that all together and then this is what they look like whilst they were cooking. So as you can see, like they are those smashed patties and they really remind me of like American burgers or like your five guys, that kind of thing, where they kind of really put them into balls and then they squish them as they put them in the frying pan. And then um, we loaded all the burgers up. We had sweet potato fries, corn on the cob. We've got the brioche buns, which we put in the pan and they were just toasted a little bit. Um, on the first burger, you can see that there's burger sauce, there's gherkins, tomatoes, lettuce, and then you've got the patties going on top. So you've got one patty with two slices of the plastic cheese, put them in the oven and melted. They put your other patty on top, so you've got a double cheeseburger. And then you loaded that on top of the burger, and it honestly was just, it was really, it was amazing. It was so good. I just did another close up of the burgers because they were honestly like the best burgers that I've had. And then for the rest of the evening, we just chilled. Um, I've got no more footage for the rest of the night because we all just sat, enjoyed our burgers. We started watching, which I do recommend, um, something on Netflix, which was a recommendation I watched on Lorraine, I think, or this morning they recommended this Netflix series, which is called Lupin, or because it's right, just Lupin. Lupin and um it's basically like if you've watched Money Heist you would really like this it's this guy that is like a con artist but he, he acts as some sort of like 
not magician, but um, he basically goes, he's in Paris, is set in Paris, and he's at the Louvre, and he steals one of the Queen's necklaces, and it's all about how back in the day his dad got caught stealing this necklace, sent to prison, and he's trying to get some justice for his dad and get the necklace back, but he's absolutely obsessed with this book and this character called Lupin, who is this con artist that just disappears and no one knows how he gets away with it. He went into prison and he escaped from prison. So he kind of follows in that in those footsteps. And yeah, so we sat down, ate our burgers, watched that, really recommend that Netflix series if you haven't watched it. And yeah, that was it for the rest of the night. We chilled, had the burgers, ate some heroes, and then went to bed. So this is quite a short vlog, but it's a very typical, um, a very realistic lockdown vlog. There isn't too much to share, there isn't too much to show because we really didn't get up to too much. But it was also a very real representation of we went out for a walk, we come back, I did some baking, had some drinks, um, and then made some homemade burgers, sat in front of the telly, put on a Netflix series, and just chilled. So that was my vlog. I really hope you've all enjoyed this different style of vlogging and me sitting and talking through the clips as opposed to me just having random clips put together. Um, I really got this inspiration from the YouTuber Helen Anderson. She is like one of my biggest like inspirations in terms of YouTube and different styles of content because she always produces stuff that is just very unique and always changing the game, always being creative and she did a, a style of vlog like this where she sat down, she told the story and then showed the clips of what happened in that day and I just love that style of, um, of vlogging. So I hope you've enjoyed this different style of vlogging and you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big like and a comment and I shall catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.